I'm building some raised panels today and I thought I would take, take a minute to show you how to set up a raised panel bit. This is actually for the rails and styles. They sell templates for, set, for setting these things up and you don't need those and I really don't see how they would be all that convenient because it depends on your, uh, your thickness of your wood and what you want your profile to look like. So the way I've, I've done it forever is you you start with the bit that you're going to run and, and do the profiling on your uh, your boards that you see around the edge, your rails and styles, and just get the profile that you like. So I always like to drop this down so you get a little bit of a profile here, and then you don't want your bottom tongue to be uh, so thin that your panel might break through or something like that. So then what you're going to do is you're going to run all of these, and then we're going to put the reverse in here to cut the ends, and we'll just match it up to this profile, just like you would with a template, and it'll give you the perfect match. Now, I'm actually doing this on a shaper. It's really just like an industrial router and table. What I'm talking about today certainly applies to any router table. All right, so once you, once you have your height where you're happy with the profile, then you wanna make sure you get your fence in here, right? So you want your fence to be flat all the way across, and then you want it, you want to move it back and forth until you get it to where it's just barely, you can see it's just barely touching that bearing. See how it's just barely moving it? That's the setting you want there. All right, so I've got it set. Let's go ahead and run just, just a little bit of this to show you. And there again, that's the settings I want. I'm gonna go ahead and get all these run and I'll come back when I'm gonna do the ends. Okay, so now we're setting up the bit that's gonna cut on the ends of the boards and in order to do that you just take the piece that you just cut and then see how I've got this lined up and it's matching the groove really well so this is probably right but if not I will just adjust it just a little bit up or a little bit down to get it just exactly right now once again we're gonna set our fence to where it is just barely touching that bearing back there as the wood goes by. Now we'll run a test cut. All right, so now let's test it. Bring it in like that. Well, okay, so you can see it's just a little bit proud right there. So I'm gonna drop this just a little bit. That will decrease this right here. It'll move the cut, it'll move the cut up in this piece right here. And that should fix that. We'll test it again. Okay, one minor adjustment, and I am really good. I'm liking that a lot. Okay, well, I hope this video was helpful to you. You know, using this technique is my preferred method than trying to use a template or something like that. In the past, I would maybe try to keep scraps like this and use them as those templates, but it's just much easier if you just get the profile that you want and then use that to line up your second cutter. And almost always, I might need one little adjustment, which I always had to do anyway, and I'm right on track. So I wouldn't waste my money buying those. Uh, I use that to make this project right here. If you're interested in that, check out my other videos on how to do lettering like this, and also how to turn your style into a foot. Thank you for watching.